Hey guys, it is Scott the Steen Rollerstein with winnersandwiners.com. It is a Thursday, the 19th of September. Everybody wants to talk NFL. We're going to give them the old okie doke and talk a little college football. But before we do that, if you guys would be so kind to smash that like button, you know I always appreciate the effort. Subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, get notified every time we put up brand new content. And of course, head over there to winnersandwiners.com, the reason for the season. It is the number one site for predictive sports analysis anywhere in the world. And there's a reason. Full write-ups on every game, previews, predictions, and picks. Every game in America, every single day, for free. How are you going to beat that? If you want to up your game a little bit, you want to grab some premium plays, don't forget to use that discount code right there that's crawling across the bottom of your screen. You can use that on any and all Winners and Winers premium products for a 40% discount. And last but not least... Don't forget our good friends over there at the King of Sportsbooks, BetMGM. We partnered up with them, and they're offering $1,500 in bonus bets to get you started off right. So make sure you check that out if you're new to sports betting, if uh, if BetMGM is new to your state. Or you know what? Maybe you just don't have them as a book yet. Great opportunity to pick up another book. And you know you always need books because you're going to compare as many lines as possible. A lot of good lines over there at BetMGM. Of course, void were prohibited. Got to be uh, have a state where you got gambling. That makes sense. Uh, 21 or older terms and conditions apply. And of course, if you have a problem with gambling, make sure that you take care of that and call 1-800-GAMBLER. All right. So let's uh, let's move on to a Thursday's action, shall we? Uh, as I said, a lot of people talking about the NFL game between the Patriots and the Jets. Okay, whatever. I think this game is going to be a lot more fun, and this is USA, USA, South Alabama, baby, South Alabama, USA, going up against App State. They're in Boone, North Carolina. I know I've told you this before. I have a cousin that built a house in Boone. That is a beautiful part of the country, man. It's starting to starting to get commercialized a little bit. Rich people are finding out about it, but uh, if you haven't been up there, and if you haven't seen a game at uh, what the hell is that, Kinnick Stadium, I don't know what that is, Boone Stadium. Uh, it's a very cool place to see a football game. One of my all-time favorites. So uh, we're going to look at the total in this game. 63 and a half. I told you it was a fun, going to be a fun game. And I think it is. I think we're going to see a lot of points scored in this one. Uh, App State came into this season with some seriously high hopes. Thought it might be Sean Clark's best team in his tenure there. Um, especially on the offensive side of the ball. They've got Joey Aguilar uh, back at quarterback. Threw for about 3,800 yards last season. 33 touchdowns. That ain't nothing. Uh, two good running backs behind him, Castle and Roberts, and he brought back his top four receivers as well. Hard not to feel good about the offense, is what I'm saying. But they've got uh, some uncharacteristic problems on the defensive side. Um, even discounting the Clemson game when they were just absolutely dreadful, uh, they weren't good last year. You know, this is usually a very good App State defense. We saw them slide last year. They were 90th in EPA per play, 85th in success rate. That ain't good, kids. We've got 132 uh, FBS schools. So, yeah, definitely almost the, the bottom third there. Um, they look decent in their uh, two games this season that weren't against Kent Clemson, but you got to put a huge asterisk besides that. One of them was an FCS, FCS opponent. The other one was East Carolina, a team not exactly known for their high-powered offense. Um, South Alabama, uh, not probably as good as App State, but a very, very similar look. Very good offense, 15th in EPA, uh, 14th and 8th EPA per play, 17th success rate. Defense has been, uh, has been, how do you say, not good. And they haven't played Clemson. They're actually a little worse than Clemson, or excuse me, a little worse than App State in both EPA per play and success rate. Um, you know, and it's, 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 it's easy to understand because um, Major Applewhite, of course, quarterback at Texas, he's an offensive guy. and He's always going to preach the offense first. And they uh, only brought back three starters from their defense from last year. So even though the defense wasn't great, uh, they turned a lot of it over. And you know there's going to be an adjustment period with the new guys. Uh, the Jaguars have Gio Lopez, uh, dual threat quarterback. He is uh, having a nice season so far, 10.3 yards per attempt, seven TDs, and a set of picks. Um, and uh, to keep an eye – this is another. This is another guy you're going to be seeing on Sunday. Jamal Pritchett. Uh, he's got 207 yards as a wide receiver so far. 207 yards through three games, and three touchdowns. This guy is legit and will make some big plays. 
Uh, you saw a lot of coverage busts against Clemson. You saw a lot of bad tackling from this App State team. Um, I'm not sure they've got that fixed. You're gonna you're gonna find out tonight. And I don't I don't think uh, that this USA team is going to be kept off the scoreboard. I think there's going to be some points scored in this game. I think it's going to be a back and forth affair. And I think we're going to see this one go over. So let's make it official. Give me the South Alabama Jaguars and the Appalachian State Mountaineers over 63 and a half. And at the end of that one, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right, everybody, as always, thanks very much for watching. Good luck on all of your plays today. Let's go out there and uh, beat the brakes off the book. Let's start a what, we got a five-game, five-day run here, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday? Yeah, let's do it. It's football, baby. Let's go show them how we do, all right? You guys take care, and we'll be back tomorrow to talk all about it. We'll see you then.